Hello and welcome to Ask the Oncologist. My name is Dr. Stephen Bachi. In this episode, I'll be talking about the signs and symptoms of breast cancer. If this is a video you are interested in or this is a series that you are interested in, grab your seat and then let's go. Before we start, I would like you to know that most cases of breast cancer are diagnosed when there are no signs and symptoms. And most of these are the cases that are diagnosed early. So what this means is that instead of waiting until you see some signs and symptoms, take a proactive approach and undergo regular screening. This way you are likely to find out if there are any issues earlier than waiting until symptoms develop or until you see any signs. So this requires regular screening with regular mammograms depending on your age and then having regular clinical and self-breast examinations. This will allow you to be able to find lumps earlier than when they begin to present outwardly. One of the commonest signs and symptoms that we notice for people who present to the hospital with breast cancer is finding a lump either in the breast or in the armpit. Notice that when it comes to breast cancer, it is not only about lumps in the breast alone, but in the armpit, an area we call the axilla. So finding a lump in the armpit, even though it is not in the breast, may mean that there is breast cancer. Because when there are lumps in the breast, they often move first to the armpit or to the axilla before they move to other parts of the body. So do not say that because the lamp was not in the breast, then it is not of concern. Once you notice anything unusual in the armpit or in the breast, a lamp, it is always important to check up on it with your healthcare provider so that it can be, um, it can be examined and then the proper test carried out to rule out the presence of breast cancer. Another common sign and symptom that most people present with when it comes to breast cancer is an abnormal discharge from the nipple. This discharge could be bloody or it could be anything other than breast milk. So if you are not breastfeeding and you notice a discharge or even if you are breastfeeding but the discharge that you are having from the nipple is not breast milk but anything other than that, it's often something that you need to check up on to rule out the presence of any underlying abnormality in the breast. Most people will also present with changes in the skin of the breast. If I say changes, it could be reddening of a certain area of the breast or a certain part of the skin of the breast or darkening of a certain part of the skin of the breast. This often depends on the color of or the skin tone that you naturally have. If you notice any unusual coloration, so what it means is that you need to know what your normal skin color is or what the normal color of the skin that covers your breast is like so that if there are any unusual changes, you can be able to tell earlier and follow up appropriately. In relation to the changes in the skin of the breast or the changes in the color of the skin of the breast, you may notice that there are tiny holes on the breast that makes it look like the peel of an orange. This is often a common sign and symptom that people present with when it comes to breast cancer. So if you notice such an unusual change, it might be something that you want to check up with in the hospital to rule out the presence of any underlying malignancy. Now, there are some people who naturally have a retracted nipple. If you did not used to have a retracted nipple, you, however, you begin to notice recently that your nipple is beginning to go inward, this may be a sign that something is happening within the breast which is abnormal. And this is often something that you have to check up with your healthcare provider on so that cancer is ruled out as well. There are some individuals who will present with generalized reddening of the skin of the breast or something we call inflammation they may notice that the breast is reddened and is also associated with pain. These can also be signs of breast cancer. So if you notice that the skin of your breast has become red and is associated with pain, and sometimes you realize that it's actually warmer compared to the other side of the body or the other breast, 
This is obviously something that you need to visit your healthcare provider and get it examined so that you rule out the presence of cancer. Now, in advanced cases, there are individuals who have an ulcer or a wound developing on the skin of the breast. This is often when the lump or the breast cancer has been um, neglected or has gone unnoticed for a long time. Often, the cancer cells can infiltrate through the skin and come outside of the breast, resulting in an ulcer or a wound on the skin of the breast. So if you have a wound or a sore on the breast that is not healing, despite getting the appropriate treatment, this is something that is worth visiting the hospital and getting it examined to rule out the presence of any underlying disease. Even though cancer usually does not present with pain, if you notice that you consistently or you have recurrent pain in the breast that is not associated with your menstrual cycle, this is something that you have to check up on to be sure that there is no underlying disease. I am sure you've been able to understand the signs and symptoms of breast cancer from this video. Join me in the next video as we talk about screening. This will include self-breast examination and clinical breast examinations. These activities will help you to be able to detect breast cancer early before they begin to develop signs and symptoms. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss the next episode. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.